Good morning, good evening, whenever you're watching this, and welcome back to Terran Plays Persona 5 Royal. So, in the last episode, Goro Akechi was revealed to be the true culprit, and the person that sold us out. And he had been uh, sent to the police station to assassinate Ren, under orders of a corrupt politician named Masayoshi Shido. But thanks to an ingenious scheme that is far too complex for me to summarize here, the Phantom Thieves managed to trick the bad guys into thinking they won, while in actuality, we won. Now all we need to do is uh, find a way into Shido's palace. So, let's head off to bed. I'm gonna head back then. Guess he won't be going to school for a while. Don't worry about it. This'll be a breeze compared to what we've had to face so far. And we'll have all the time to come up with the plans together. To be perfectly honest, I don't really care what happens to Shido, one way or the other. But when I consider the fact that he's your enemy, I naturally think he's my enemy as well. I'm going to stay with you until the very end. Well then, we should get to sleep. You know, something that Futaba said before. When you were in a pinch in the palace, she picked up a reading of someone who came to your rescue. Was that... Yeah, that was Kasumi. So it was Yoshizawa. Then we'd better let her know you're safe now. And I'll even lend you a hand with that. Apparently, Akechi arrested the leader of the Phantom Thieves. He's a hero. I'm so glad Akechi's back. I hope they can catch the rest of the Phantom Thieves, too. He really is amazing. There's no point in even having an election. Shido's gonna win. Of course, he's the only reliable politician there is. Plus, the current government has been getting wrapped up in scandal after scandal. Even more importantly, there's just an aura about him. Like he can fix whatever problems we have. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me who does it. I just want to see our society back on track. Especially after it turned out those phantom thieves were nothing more than scum in the end. I'll show you. <laughs> I heard you went home, so I announced it during homeroom. Are you okay? I am. You're alive! The news is reporting you committed suicide. Call me when you can. I was so confused. But as long as you're safe, don't worry about school. Just take care of yourself. Is it true the leader of the Fan Thieves died? How could the police let him commit suicide in jail? They need to get their shit together. Cut that out! You're in class. Break's been over for quite some time now. I swear, you're like monkeys in a zoo. Hmm? Oh yeah. I received word from Amamiya's family that he'll be absent for a bit. Jeez, what do you people think his school is anyway? Almost time. Hey, it can't be true, can it? Please tell me you're okay. It's all good, Mishima. Oh, thank God you're safe. That suicide report was all over the news, and Ms. Kawakami said you went back to your hometown. I was honestly worried about contacting you. 
Even Sakamoto was dodging the question when I tried to ask him. But don't worry, I won't tell anyone. By the way, the fan site is a real mess right now. But I'll keep supporting you from the shadows. Good luck. Hey. You don't need to worry about it in here, but try not to do anything to draw attention. Anyway, today's a day off, so eat your curry and take it easy. You can take your time with it too. It's not like any customers are gonna be showing up. Okay. Let's try and think of the keyword once the chief's curry has energized you. Have you guys figured out the keyword to Shido's palace yet? I tried all sorts of stuff, but no luck so far. It is hard to understand the thought process of a criminal mastermind like him. You know, I've been wondering, if he's been behind all of those mental shutdowns, doesn't that mean all the weird accidents from these past few years were his fault? Like that subway accident back in April. Now that you mention it, that accident lost the Minister of Transport his job. Wait, are you s trying to say Shido caused that accident? But it's the subway! Does he not care at all about innocent lives? This man seems to be truly unbelievable. Supposedly, there are still tons of victims from that in the hospital even now. Masayo Shishido. How many has he killed over the years? How could we ever understand what goes on in the mind of such a horrible man? Hey, wouldn't it be faster if we just go there and try and think about it on site? Let's try that. If we're going to go, I'd like Renkun to join, but... Will that be okay? Won't somebody spot him there? Eh, we'll probably figure out the key word in no time once we're there. Plus, I could throw off anyone who tails us with my blazing speed. Alright, let's have Renkun join us then. Remember, though, we're going with the intent of not being seen. Okay, well, let's meet in front of the Diet Building and force that bastard's palace open. Alright, let's head to the Diet Building. Make sure you aren't discovered, okay? You going out? That's the plan. You gotta be kidding me. You realize you're done for if you get caught, right? Ugh. <sighs> the stunts you pull sometimes. Just don't stay out too late. Akeshi isn't here. Let's begin at once. Police cars are making rounds, so we can't stay here too long. We already have Masayo Shishido and Diet Building. All we need is what he thinks of this place. Maybe... Mount Fuji, since it's the highest place in the country? Conditions have not been met. What about a mansion? Conditions have since not he's been going met. to subjugate everyone as Prime Minister... Perhaps a school? Have what about an arena, like the Colosseum? Imperial not Palace? Conditions have not been met. It's no good. I thought we would have gained entry by now. Maybe we shouldn't have called you here. Hey, you think he's guarding his whole palace with a barrier? Mm hmm? Shido stole the cognitive science research, right? Well, maybe it had some special move written in it. Is that even possible? Who knows? I've got no idea. There was nothing like that in the notes I saw. Anyways, what kind of person is Shido? I can't figure him out. I did some light research on him last night, but I couldn't get a grasp on the type of man he is. That man over there is probably a legislator, right? I'll try asking him. Excuse me, I'm a member of the newspaper club at my high school. May I speak with you for a moment? Sure. What kind of person is Representative Shido? What's he think about the national diet? His stance is dedication for country. It's how he's garnered everyone's trust. 
He's an admirable man of action with a first-class determination. I'd say he's a model politician. I believe that he'll help create a wonderful future in which young adults like you can live in ease. An exemplary answer. It makes sense he wouldn't tell teenagers anything unnecessary. Look over there. He's on a walkie-talkie. Wait, is it about us? That doesn't look good. We should leave at once. Tomorrow's a day off, so let's have an early strategy meeting. Meet at LeBlanc, okay? We should all think about this tonight. The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However, I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. The election's public notification is tomorrow. No matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. I tried looking Shido's interviews up online. They all sound so goddamn fake. I checked his profile as well, but I couldn't find much outside of his title and education. He's currently 53 years old has gone from being a Metropolitan Assemblyman to a representative. Though he is a cabinet minister, he split from the ruling party to form the United Future Party. Shido's a cabinet minister? For real? He was specially appointed to the position. That's his current title. Apparently, he also won a contest for who people would most like to have as their boss. Even the news sites write about him as though he's assured to become the Prime Minister. If only we could find out the meaning behind Shido's words. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. Ugh. Mm. What's with all the love for Shido? I get no one knows the truth about him, but it still creeps me out. Okay. So, not much we can do at night right now. And I just noticed we have a uh, Phantom Thieves poster up. When did that show up? It wasn't there a few nights ago. Anyway. Oh! Today, I'm up for playing a game. Golfer Saru Tahiko. Okay, let's start up Pro Golfer Saru Tahiko. Well then, apparently there's a trick to slow the bar down, making it easier to beat the game. Yeah. Hmm. There's a practice course. Let's try that one first. All right, time to practice a normal distance shot. Press the cross button to move the bar from the start to the right. Press the cross button again to try and stop the bar within the designated area. Oh, I think you did it. Not a bad shot. Oh, the screen changed. This looks like you're stuck in the sand now. Not bad. You managed to get yourself out of the bunker. Ooh, you're near the flag now. Looks like this is practice for getting your ball on the green. The 
balls on the green now. Looks like that's the end of the practice course. I guess we'll finish here for today. Nice! <laughs> it looks like you learned how to be attentive to small details through controlling your shots. Hmm. Nice! That should put an end to the case. It's just like Shido-san said. We can't go wrong leaving things to Masayoshi Shido. Shido-san's gonna be in this selection too, right? Politicians like him are promising. As your physician, I would like to confirm something. Please contact me as soon as you see this. I'm still alive if that's what you're wondering. Stop making me worried. I'm glad you're okay. I just got nervous when I saw the news. Well, I'll be at the clinic if you need any medicine. <sighs> it's nothing but the fan of these on TV. Oh, that's right. Aren't you all supposed to be gathering here today? Make sure you finish eating before everyone shows up. <clears throat> it's almost time for our meeting. I wonder if anybody has figured out the keyword. Last one. Diamond mine. <sighs> no good. How many do we miss? Perhaps he truly does have a barrier up. Right? That's not something to be excited about. We know all the way up to diet building too. So you enter keywords into the Metaverse Navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Goro Akechi. Him and his stupid composed face. So, Akechi-san, is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean, people often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Then, was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy lent a hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Why is he being treated as an ace detective of justice? It's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines, I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. Phantom Thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Well, there was the time with Futaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. Well, we do have an adult with us. No, that's still impossible. Besides, that's too dangerous a method. <sighs> well, this is a problem. What's with the ruckus outside? Isn't that an election campaign car? Oh, right! The candidates are currently campaigning! Huh? That voice! I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did! <sighs> It's 
sounds like the same voice I heard back then. Hmm? Man, talk about being lucky! <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now! Hey, Ryuji ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry! And by the way, did something happen? It didn't seem well a moment ago. Now is the time to rebuild this crumbling nation. Our government is littered with scandals. And criminals have taken a strong foothold in our society. Such a disgraceful past must be discarded. We must set sail into a new future of dreams and hopes. So our children who carry the burden of the next generation can be proud of their country. So our nation can once again become a powerful one with abundant wealth and luxury. So our beautiful home will be acknowledged as the best country in the world. I humbly ask that you cast your vote for me, Masayo Shishido. Let us all set sail toward a happy future, together. I hope to continue serving you all. Is that the guy? You guys wait here. I'll go get intel for us. Wait! Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Stand back. I just want to talk to him for a sec. He's a busy man. The hell? Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? That's enough, Brad. You're that asshole we met at the hotel before, at the elevators. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. So you can butt in front of other people, other people if you're, you're in a hurry? hurry? What are you talking about? That moron. Come on, stop! But these guys... Hey, kid. You don't want to know what happens when you cross me. Huh. That voice. It seems the customer base has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? I hate a show. Get lost, kid. Damn, brat! I'll sue! This man, there's no mistake, he's the same man as the one from before. What are you looking at? This country is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. <sighs> what a piece of shit. So what do you think after seeing him in person? It's him. Wait, he's the jerk you told us about before? The same guy? For real? Seriously? Mm -hmm. You're sure, aren't you? Shido's the one who ruined your life. Holy shit. I don't believe it. <sighs> Let's get going, okay? Shido's the guy who set you up? What kind of fate brought you two back together? I have no idea. I want to know myself. Talk about a destined connection. Shido was involved in the cognitive research too, right? This can't be dismissed as just a coincidence. God, what the hell's going on here? Shido was already a politician then. Yet he sued a student and ruined his future? He must have pulled some strings so that his name wouldn't be mentioned. Furthermore, he also would have had to force that woman into making a false statement. He would do anything. We're talking about a man who ordered a hit inside the police station. He can't sit still until he crushes whoever opposes him, no matter how trivial. He's always been that way. What a piece of shit. Children are the future, my ass! What he's saying and doing are completely different. But now that we found out who did it, can't something be done about his record? 
Once the courts have made a judgment, overturning that decision will be difficult. It'd barely be possible even if proof of innocence is presented and Shido admits to his crimes. At any rate, we need to trigger a change of heart in him. Be that as it may, Shido's outer appearance and his true face are wholly different. It's beyond hypocritical. It's as if he's an entirely different person. He speaks about the good of the country. It makes me wonder what really is on his mind. That man's full of ambition to rise in the world. He only thinks of the weak as stepping stools for his success. He treats himself as an elite man while looking down on others. Ugh, that's the worst. I assume the keyword for what he believes the Diet Building is will be despicable too. It must be something self-centered and completely different from politics. Someone like him needs to be punished as soon as possible. Let's head to the Diet Building again right after school tomorrow. I feel we'll get it this time. <sighs> Stewing over it won't get anywhere. We have to do this. The guy behind everything turned out to be your arch enemy. What an oddly poetic twist. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, those clothes. You'd stand out if everyone else was wearing their school uniforms. It might be a good idea to wear your uniform when you head out. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's continue with that golf oh. game. Okay. Hmm. It looks like this next hole is par three. You'll just need to finish it within three strokes, okay? Remember, the first shot is crucial. Make sure you aim well. Got it on the green! You have two shots left now. I wonder if you'll be able to sink it into the cup. Whoa! You got it in! Oh, you cleared that no problem! You even have a shot left over! Seems like there'll be a higher voter turnout at this election. It'll totally be an easy win for Shiro-kun. He really got famous from all the fan of these business. He's on track to become Prime Minister. Guess I should be on Shiro's side. I've actually been paying attention to the news lately. Aren't you proud of me? Don't you leave it on hoping that Akechi will be there? Well, not that I blame you. He's a real hero. I think Masayo Shishido is even more amazing, though. He's the first politician I've ever believed in. Oh, I know Shido-san, too. Looks like he really wants to improve the country. <sighs> Can't they see they're being lied to? We have to do something. It's not true that the Phantom Thieves leader died, right? Don't worry, I'm fine. Thank goodness. There's no way the Phantom Thieves could be defeated. Man, it's such a relief to hear things are okay. Well, if you need anything, I'll be at the arcade. Phantom Thieves have been on the news recently, so... 
I was wondering how you're doing. Are you going to give up without accomplishing your goal? Nah, I'm fine. So you're okay. That's a relief. I'm expecting great things from the Phantom Thieves. If you need anything, I'm happy to help my comrade. Feels pretty weird seeing you around on a weekday. You're taking off tonight, right? Sheesh, you're such a risk taker. Listen, make sure nobody notices you, okay? <sighs> I had to do something about the keyword for sure this time. Security guards became suspicious of us last time. So we can't stay here for long. But we still have no hit. Think it's a barrier after all? Where'd your enthusiasm from yesterday go? Ah, shut up. The real game starts at two outs. Enough chatting. You should only be thinking about the keyword. The citizens are secondary. He only cares about his own well-being and that of his lackeys. He wants to become prime minister. Even if it means trampling on others. Fortune, rich people. Hey, can you think of anything based on what you've heard from him? Just try saying anything. It doesn't matter if you guess. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Steer? Wait, yesterday he was... Talking about setting sail. Is it a ship? <gasps> it was a match? What? The Diet Building's a ship? What kind of scenery will that be? The actual building's on land! I can't even begin to imagine what it will be like. Well, whatever it is, looks like there are no barriers. Oh, sh shut up! Let's hurry up and go in! Are we clear of the guard's sight? Get closer to the wall, just in case. All right. Do it. <laughs> Did anything change? We went in, right? Security guards seem to be gone, but it's difficult to tell for certain. This seems to be similar to what happened with Sis's palace. But this time, the Diet building remains unchanged. Uh, the gate wasn't open earlier, though. Wait, look! Mona's appearance is different. That means we're definitely in a palace. Come on, let's go take a look. How's it look over there? See anything? Nah, it's totally normal. I'll check it out. Huh? What the heck? What's up, Futaba? <gasps> Futaba? Hmm? What is it? <gasps> the hell? Huh? <gasps> is about. Huh. This is bullshit! A country that children can be proud of my ass is completely sunken in his head. If a guy like this stands above everyone, we're seriously done for. This is beyond ridiculous. The same goes for Akechi. He should have seen this scenery as well. Yet he still aided Shido. What in the world is he thinking? Whether it be for glory or for simply a reward, my father died because of someone like this! We gotta sink Shido instead of this country. A palace with not just the center of the distortion, but the entire country sunken. 
can't believe there's someone with this tremendous of a desire. Be careful. This will be completely different from past palaces. We're definitely gonna take his treasure. <laughs> yeah. Business as usual. Come on, what a lame way to start this off. Sorry. No, I think that's how it should be. We haven't failed yet, so if we calmly give this our all, the results will surely follow. We must put an end to this by December 17th, the day before the elections. Let the infiltration begin. Time to pay him back for setting us up into a trap. Wait. If our clothes aren't changing, I guess you don't see us as a threat yet, yeah? Speaking of that, shouldn't Ren have been disguising himself on the way here? Uh, seeing someone in a disguise with a bunch of kids in school uniforms would be super weird. Hmm. Well, we won't have to worry about any of that once we steal the treasure. Let's do this. Alright. Let's head on inside. Indeed. Sai Shishido's palace. I wonder what awaits us within. Let's go find out. It's time we begin our infiltration. Um. I understand why he might already see us as a threat. But why are even the passengers wearing masks? Uh... Think they're trying to be fanthies? Like Noir was with that beauty thief stuff? Th that's th That's quite enough! It looks like... Whatever the reason, it reflects Shido's mentality. Surely he doesn't view others normally. You're right. Given the insane nature of his distortion, I'm surprised they even look like people. Listen up! It's very likely we'll end up in battles from here forward. Be on your guard, everyone! Oh. That's right. <laughs> Crow isn't on our party anymore. Let's see. Yeah. Huh? What? An enemy! Ugh, it's attacking us with all these people around? It's time. Baphomet! You're mine. Ooh, Joker! <laughs> You're looking cool! Is this a show of sorts? Mr. Shido never fails to keep his guests entertained. Indeed. Those privileged enough to be on this ship are all on the winning team. <laughs> what is with these people? Why do they not feel any danger after what they just witnessed? It seems they think no harm will come to them because they're here on Shido's ship. They're not even sensing the danger. Come on. Let's make him see what this ship really is.
I'm ready whenever you are. Give me the goods. Oh, some rare loot! Mm. I'll take it. No time to waste. Okay, let's move on. Okay. A little lax with this, because I'm not really aiming for, like, Getting treasures just yet. Alice. Hmm. This is. I can sense the treasure's presence. It's that way. Let's go, guys. Huge doors are obviously suspicious. I wonder what's through here. There's slots to stick in something like a key card. Whoa, there's five of them. 475 people in favor. Zero against. I hear something. Since there is no one against the plan, this bill will be unanimously passed as drafted. Passed? What's going on? Was that Shiro's voice? If this truly is the representative's chamber as written, beyond here must be the main assembly hall. The what now? It's that large conference room that's usually seen on the news. Oh, that thing! Gotcha! So, what are they doing inside? Most likely a meaningless vote. One in which whatever Shido proposes will always go unopposed. So he's doing whatever he wants by keeping only his supporters in there. What do we do to get in, though? Should we find these keycards? Maybe we need some kind of qualification. One that vows to be his follower or swear loyalty. So basically, we need to prove that we're on his side. Hmm... I don't know. Let's just go about this rationally. It's so we can proceed forward. But what's this qualification thing about? Why don't we ask the guests on this ship? Mm, that might be a good idea. That thought never crossed my mind. Asking around doesn't sound like a bad idea. The guests here are the cognitive versions of them in Shido's mind. They'll know any secrets he shared. True. You have a point. That said, the ruler here is that evil Shido. It wouldn't surprise me if they did turn hostile. Right. Yeah, wouldn't they attack us? We should prepare for the worst, of course. But I think we'll at least be able to talk to them. This ship is most likely an Ark loaded with those that Shido believes are worth keeping alive. It'd explain the luxury cruise ship. I doubt idiots who can't even hold a conversation would be here. We can at least gather information. It helps that everyone's wearing masks. We'll blend in, even with our attire. He must believe that no one shows their true face to anyone else. Just like him. Well then, let's split up and ask around! Well then, it looks like everyone's taken off to go gather intel. There's no doubt. I can sense the treasure behind this door. Looks like we already hit the jackpot. Let's go talk to the others. What you got over here, Panther? Hmm? One of the VIPs used to belong to nobility? Yes, that must be why he can enter the sacred place. I heard he's not easily seen, either. But why would someone love his stature always be by the poolside? Well, he must like it there for some reason. But I don't think it's the swimming. <laughs> hey! Beyond this door is the VIP area. 
And the main assembly hall is a sacred place. Yeah, it looks like we can't get in unless Shido accepts us. Oh, you have the elegance and refinement so sorely lacking in the ordinary citizenry. My, such flattery! A high-class aura emanates from you as well. If so, you noticed. <laughs> Most certainly. <laughs> These guys totally ignore me when I try and talk to them. Do I look that much like I don't got any money? Is it because of a skull mask or something? Maybe that and your attitude. You're some kind of sadist for making me get info from complete strangers, Joker. But I'll do it. I'm going to avenge my mom. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to speak to people here. I either remained silent or spoke in simple pleasantries during father's business relations. Even Noir's having trouble. My! Even Mr. Ole is a VIP? I just saw him at the restaurant. To think an important politician like him has been invited here. Well, support for the political world should mean mental shutdown are as viable as ever. <laughs> I'm quite envious. I wonder if there's a way I can get to know him better myself. <laughs> if you wish. <sighs> Hearing people speak so casually about the mental shutdown business makes my head spin. But it seems as though we need certification from five VIPs to become a special customer. These people are willing to share anything. Perhaps it's because their faces are hidden. President of a TV station? Indeed, Mr. Shido has quite a large circle of acquaintances. It seems you have to be at least that important to be considered a VIP. I'm truly envious. Why don't you go play the slots with him? That might get his attention. Indeed. It appears uh, these people all want to be accepted as one of Shido's special customers. By the way, I've gained some information on the VIPs. We should discuss later. Joker! There's something I've noticed, too. I actually saw what looked like a map on our way here. Why don't we go check it out? Hello? Hmm, just as I thought. Nice! We'll definitely be able to use this to our advantage. Let's take it with us. Well then, we've gathered a good amount of info. We might want to regroup and go over it all now. How'd it go for all of you? Not great, but not bad either. Well, I was able to get a bit of intel as well. We should sort through what all of us gave. Well, I took a look at the map we obtained earlier, and found what appears to be a safe room. Right here. Whoa! It's close! Perfect. Let's go over our intel there. Joker! Gotta head over to the safe room so we can, like, discuss some stuff. Huh? Is there a safe room around here somewhere? Still, this is a surprise. All the cognitive guests in this palace seem like real humans. The casino earlier looked pretty real too, but talking with these guests was a whole nother story. You have that right. This ruler's observational skills and insight are off the charts. Shido's a formidable foe. Come on, no need to freak out. I'm not freaking out. I was just thinking it'll be easier to make a plan since they can talk normally. All right. Let's put together the information we gathered. Huh. 
Gotcha. So we gotta get a letter of introduction from the five VIPs. And those letters become key cards? You're right. Now let's go over what all of us have learned. First, according to my intel, it seems one of the VIPs is an influential politician by the name of Oe. He's supposedly seen at the restaurant at night and sits at a table near the window. Um, I'll go next. I heard about a prominent VIP who used to be nobility. They said he's usually by the pool. Please hear me out. It seems the president of a television station is also a VIP. She always plays slots at night. It would seem he spends his money quite lavishly. Crap! I'm starting to forget people already! Hey, listen! For real? Give it, you got info? <laughs> of course! I eavesdropped. Supposedly, one of the VIPs is a president of an IT company. He's always in his room, and reportedly enters from an exclusive hallway. Listen up! I'll close this out. How the hell did you get info with your looks? It seems like some guy they call the Cleaner is another VIP. I've heard that he's cautious, so it's probably best if we check the other VIPs first. Um... Cleaner? I wonder what they mean by that. Wait a minute. After all of the VIPs we listed, this one's a cleaner? Is he really a VIP? Hmm. Supposedly. Um... I'm sorry. I couldn't get any information. Me neither. So don't worry about it, okay? Let's just work harder during the battle. You're right. I'll do my best. Uh... But there's a bigger problem, you know. My memory's, uh, not so great. Anyway, who's who? Uh... uh... It's no use! I can't keep the profiles of five people straight in my head! I can only remember about two of them. What about you, Joker? My memory is pristine. Really? Wow! We're up against five people. The politician Owe, a former noble, a TV station president, an IT company president, and a cleaner. We get certification from them and obtain letters of introduction that'll serve as key cards. But only go for the cleaner after the other four have been dealt with, right? Whoa, now that's impressive! You go, genius! If we can't remember the details on the VIPs, let's reconvene inside a safe room. All right. Let's get this done quickly. Hey! We know how to get into the main assembly hall now. Should we head home? Huh? Want to go back already? Mm. There are people in here with special letters. That means Shido trusts them to a certain extent. It would be best to consider them as powerful individuals. We do not want to get too hasty. Let us take our time here. Well, I guess we do have a little time to spare. Well then, let's head back for today. Alright, so, we got no more business here, so, let's head back home. Okay. Now returning to the real world from Shido's Palace. Thank you for your hard work. Yo. You're back. So, this is it, huh? I have to do this. You're right. Do what you need to. I'll try to help any way I can. Just don't be reckless, got it? Palace is an accurate portrayal of Shido's nature. What do you mean? I have to agree. I'm sure he's quite used to traveling, especially on extravagant ships. And it should be obvious he's not using his own money for it. There are all sorts of rumors online. Oh, I get it. He's using tax money? Not cool, Shido. I 
think he believes that which belongs to others in turn belongs to him. Even people's lives. That is correct. This country will be a miserable place if Shido becomes Prime Minister. We have to stop him. Right. We gotta pay him back for what he did to Ren, too. Alright. What's on TV tonight? Election season is here, and it's on everyone's minds. Now, not many people know this about the Diet. The Diet decides things with a majority vote. But what happens if the vote is split 50-50? A. Speaker of the House decides. B. They flip a coin. The Speaker of the House decides. The correct answer is A. The Speaker of the House decides. Let's hear an explanation. In accordance with Article 56, Section 2 of the Constitution, the Speaker of the House makes the decision. After the general election, by law, the Diet's first act must be to appoint a new Prime Minister. Nice going! Time probably doesn't happen very often, though. Business going out tonight. I'm a chef Bulls! Let's finish up the golfer game. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. This course is 360 yards. At least it's part four. In any case, I should try to clear it in four strokes, okay? Man, that was a great shot! You really reduced the distance! You still have three shots to go. Keep your momentum rolling! on the green. This is your third shot. Maybe you can get it in the cup. Hey, it went in. Nice job. All the courses in pro golfer Sara Tahiko. We got a little prize card. Nice. It's me. Sorry, I know you're tired. It'll be a sec. Just hear me out. I decided what I want to do with Shido after going into his palace. We can't let him run free. If there's a heart we gotta steal, it's definitely gotta be his. That's right. Yeah. Man, you knew this whole time, huh? I want to avenge you, that's a no-brainer, but that's not it. If we let him run the country, the weak will be totally effed. Isn't it our duty to protect them? Yeah. We'll protect them till the end. Remember when I told you that heroes who lurk in the shadows are boring? Well, forget what I said. Those heroes are way cooler. <clears throat> hey, once we change Shido's heart... Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> forget it. Let's do it. Let's steal that bastard Shido's heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. Thanks for listening to me. See ya. Campaign season has begun. I bet it'll be an overwhelming victory for Representative Shido. 
Yeah, I'm definitely gonna vote for him. Maybe I'll actually vote this time. There aren't many politicians who are like Shido-san. Hey, it's almost time. Were you able to sleep last night? <sighs> I slept pretty well, despite the cold. <laughs> I'm impressed. Whatever happens, you always manage to just shake it off. You're finally facing against your arch enemy. Now, I know you know this, but don't get impatient. But jeez, it's been getting cold lately. We might freeze to death before we can change his heart. Let's look to see if we can find anything to help us get warm. Ah, <sighs> the heater, huh? Oh, this is good. So warm. Hey! Once we take care of Shido... Mm. What? Um, well... I was just thinking. This might be the last job for the Phantom Thieves. Huh? Everyone's goals and ambitions, they're all linked to taking down Shido. That's how I feel. We all became fan of these for our own reasons. We weren't just playing around. Outside of the Phantom Thieves, you also have friends who have been helping you. They believe in you. We have an important battle ahead of us, and we only made it all this way because of them. There's no guarantees we'll make it out of this. See them as much as you can so you have no regrets. Just don't jinx us, Morgana. <laughs> You're right. And then again, you didn't die, even though you were killed, right? The others are tough, too. Ren, I'm with you. All the way to the end. This upcoming battle is personal, so we'll do it your way. Now you can fight Shido on your terms. Hasn't Amamiya been taking a lot of days off? I wonder if it's got something to do with his record. Okay, quiet down. I believe I mentioned this before, but Amamiya-kun is back at his family's home. It's a personal matter, so don't go spreading rumors. How long can we keep this up? We need to take care of things before we get caught. Are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Welcome! Uh -huh. What did I just say? Nah, uh, still fine. Senpai? You, you're not like a stunt double or something, right? <laughs> Long time no see. Same to you. Wait! That's not my point! Well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. A little surprise from me to you. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Oh, thank goodness! I'm just so happy! No one cares about my scheme! Well, it looks like you know what's been going on with him. Take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. So you're... Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, what's up? <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Sh shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety! Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. What a refined response. Are we really around the same age? You know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. Why were you in that palace in the first place? 
That's... Uh... I was wondering that too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader. But if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was actually following you the entire time. Huh? Wait, we were tailed there? We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. I've been considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like yours, Senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. <sighs> well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but... I'm thankful for her offer to help, but Shido is more dangerous than any of our previous targets. It'd be wisest to avoid dragging Kasumi into this fight. Senpai? I'm glad that you want to join, but we're in a real bind now. I don't want you to get hurt. Well, you say that, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so... This is on us. We're delighted by the offer, but we really can't drag you into this any further. Moreover... You have something to do yourself, right? <laughs> I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well, I understand your reasoning. If that's the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... Don't worry. We'll be fine. I really do believe you. It's time I get going. I've got practice today, as usual. Well, be seeing you. Man, sure must be nice not having to go to school. It's not that great. There's not a lot to do. Bullshit! A dead man cannot go to school, you know. This would be all for nothing if they found out he's still alive. Doesn't it suck to live like a fugitive, though? Always having to hide your face? <laughs> it's a thrill, well, that's for sure. I'm sure it is. No doubt it's hard as well, but please bear with it for now. Don't try too hard to hide yourself. You'll only stand out more. That's always the hardest. Try hard, but not too hard. In any case, we're ready to put the plan into action. Now all we need is your signal. Okay. So, you'll stand out too much during the day. We need to go at night. We're about to face our toughest target to date. Don't skimp on your preparations. The plan for changing Shido's heart has begun. Try to steal your target's heart by the deadline. He's tough and knows the metaverse well. Be sure to strengthen your bond so that you're prepared. Hey, sorry to bring this up now. I know you have your hands full. The fan thieves can do it. I have faith in all of you. Anyway, here's the info I have. This one is cruel. There's a group of scammers out there specifically targeting old people. Apparently, they're using some sort of spiritual mumbo-jumbo to trick them into paying up. Well, that's horrible! It really is. 
Anyway, they keep moving around, so it's been difficult to reliably track them. Apparently, the police have just stopped trying entirely. From what I've read online, their representative is a guy named Yoshihito Wakasa. Sorry, I don't have any more info than that. Good luck. Hmm. It might be tough for us to go at a time like this, but the info itself is pretty worthwhile. If we have the chance to head into Mementos, he'd make a great target. Swindlin' old folk is pretty low. Ooh. Boy, we had a lot revealed to us this episode. So anyway, next time, we're gonna prepare ourselves for the official infiltration into Shido's palace by spending time with our confidants. And there's not too many left that we need to uh, max out. So until then, stay safe, have a good day, and thanks for watching.